All right. These <laughs> are premium Bibles. They're heavy. They're awesome. They're mm, beautiful. I don't know. This is true craftsmanship. If you don't know about premium Bibles, I'm going to make a video about it. But premium Bibles are how to read the Bible. I love premium Bibles. But you didn't want to hear about premium Bible. That's not why you click this video. Surely not. You want to know how can somebody possibly read the entire Bible in 30 days? Well, it's possible. In fact, I've done it multiple times. I've done it about six or seven times in the past. And in fact, I challenged myself at the beginning of last year, 2022, and the first uh, four months or so, I read the Bible through on the 30-day plan. And it was challenging. It was exciting. It was fun. It was everything you would think it would be. And I'm here to let you know, you can do it too. I think everybody should do it at least once in their life. Go through the entirety of Scripture in a short amount of time, 30 days. Now, let me put these Bibles down. Now, the Bible is such a powerful book, and, and no doubt you already know that because you even clicked this video. If not, you would be like, this guy is a madman reading the Bible through in 30 days. Now, granted, this is not my normal Bible reading routine, but I do actually read the Bible quite rapidly, but we're not talking about that now. We're talking about 30 days. It's fun. It's challenging. It's not something you have to do all the time, but do it. Maybe do it once a year. Maybe do it once every several years. Just try. If you've never done it before, please, please, please give it a try. I'm going to give you some tips today. I'm going to give you some tricks, things that are tried and proven, things I've done and do whenever I go on my 30 day Bible reading journeys. It's so, so fun. The first thing we have to do is find out where in the world can I find a 30 day Bible reading plan? Well, there's things called the 30 day shred and there's other Bible reading apps that have these plans inside of them that you can get the 30 day plan. But I like to go to a particular website where I can do some customizations. Let me show it to you. So first thing you do is open up your browser. Then you're going to type in www.biblereadingplangenerator.com. Super straight forward. Now, when you arrive on the website, you're going to see it it'll populate some of the information already. So it starts you as a default at 365 days. That means you're reading the Bible. You want to read the entire Bible in 365 days. You're also going to see a calendar view. So for instance, this is starting on February 1st, 2023, and you're reading the Bible through in 365 days. So on Wednesday, February 1st, you're going to be reading Genesis 1 through 3. The next day, Genesis 4 through 7, etc. But let's say you want to read the Bible in 30 days, like we're trying Trying to do. Well, I changed that to 30 days, but the other thing I like to do is do list view. I think it's easier on the eye to see it this way. So February 1st, you're reading Genesis 1 through 37. February 2nd, Genesis 38 through Exodus 20. And that's what you are actually reading, right? But it just shows you everything you're going to be reading. And you can do these other things too, weeks or books or a circle view. But I think the most useful one is list. Now, if you're going to reuse this particular plan, let's say you want to do the 30 day plan, you know, every year or however often you want to do it. Well, what you can do is you come down here and you do remove dates. And now look, there's no dates there. So now it's not tied to anything. What I like to do is I usually copy this and I paste it into like Microsoft Word or something like that. And when I do that, I can format it and to meet my particular needs. And you can print it and do all these other things. The other thing that's cool here is that you can choose what books to include. So let's say you're just trying to read all the major prophets. Well, you could do that. You could unselect everything and just choose the major prophets. Go down here to Isaiah, Jeremiah, etc. Or the other awesome thing is, if you want to read the Apocrypha, the Deuterocanonical books, you could choose to read some of them on your Bible reading plan. This just incorporates it, incorporates it into the uh, 30 day plan or whatever, or if you want a 90 day plan, whatever it might be, right? But it will incorporate it. So it's still going to be based upon 30 days, but you can include all those as well. And now if you go up here, you're going to see it's changed a little bit. So if you get down here to where the Apocrypha is, you and that they put it between the testaments. So you'll see Tobit here, Judith and additions to Esther. Uh, Esther, etc. So you can include those as well. So that's super useful. So that's the place you should go to get a good Bible reading plan and do the 30 day plan right here. Now, tip number two is you're going to want to read a good 
chunk in the morning, right when you wake up, because it's hard to catch up throughout the day. That's what happens. Sometimes you, if you miss that morning reading time, it doesn't have to be ex extend, super extensive, but if you can get an hour in, that's a good place to start. Get that hour in and then the rest of the day, you're going to break it up. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute here, but get that morning session in because it's hard to catch up later on. You're going to be feeling like you're dragging and trying to catch up the whole day if you don't get your morning session in. So point number three, get the Bible in multiple formats. Have your, of course, physical. That's a great thing. You always need to have the physical Bible. I think I think it's so great. It's fun. It's more of a, it's a better reading experience for me. I personally love to hold it in my hand, hold the word of God. But I also have a Kindle. So let's say at nighttime, I'm still reading and my wife's asleep and the lights are out, but I can still use my Kindle because it has a built in light and I can and I have the Bible on there, too, in multiple versions. So I can do it there. Also, I have it on my phone. So let's say I'm out and about. I can pull it up and let's say I'm, I'm you know, waiting in line for something. I can pull it up and read a chapter, read two chapters, read three chapters, whatever it might be, but have the Bible in multiple formats wherever you go so that you can have it on you so you can get through that Bible because you remember, you got to kind of push yourself and you have to do it consistently because if you wait till the end of the night, chances are you're probably not going to be able to fit in all of that reading unless that's unless you don't have a, a job or you're not trying to go to sleep or you don't have anything else to do. Well, that's fine. Then you can go ahead and wait till the end of the night. But still, I would recommend start your day off in the morning reading the Bible, have multiple formats. Now, point number four, get a reader's Bible. What is a reader's Bible? I'm going to link some in the description, but there are many reader Bibles and reader Bible is basically where you don't have verse numbers included throughout the text. And there's not a lot of, there's not like notes and all this stuff. It's just the text. And that's more like a story, like a, like a novel you might read. There's no verse numbers in there because the, the, the reality is this, that verse numbers can hold you back if you're trying to read rapidly. So make sure, get yourself a reader's Bible. Now on Kindle, they have reader's versions of the Bible as well, or they have some apps that also have a reader's version. Now, if you've never heard of a reader's version before, just type it, type it in any kind of search. You're going to find reader's Bibles available to you. And again, check the description for some links to those as well. I particularly like this one. Now this is for a premium Bible. This is a little on the higher end, more expensive. I'm not saying you need this or anything, but this particular Bible is so neat. It's called a Schuyler Bible and it's a Treveris series. And this can be bought. I'm going to link a website down below where you can see, but look at, you have these verse numbers way off to the side, but the text itself, the text block, it's not at all. Like it's not, it's not, messed up. There's not all kinds of stuff in it and, and notes and all that stuff. It's just a beautiful text. Now that that's a great thing to do too. that, that particular Bible. Love it. Love it. Love it. That's one of my favorite Bibles to read. Okay. So have multiple formats. Tip number five, change up your location. Don't just read in one spot. Don't just sit there and you're like, okay, I'm going to read only in here. It's my reader's chair. It's my reader's desk. Don't do that because you're reading a lot. Remember, you're trying to read the whole Bible. This thing is big. It's not small. You're trying to read this in 30 days. So switch it up. Read over here. Find a little nook in your house somewhere else or go outside, get a hammock, do whatever it takes. Go to the library, read a little bit there and then read somewhere else, read it in your bed, read it wherever it might be. Now, this also ties in with having the Bible in multiple formats. So if you are laying on, laying down, uh, trying to go to bed or right before bed, you can pull off, your, pull up your Kindle and now you have it or pull off your, you know, pull up your app and you can read the Bible there. So again, multiple formats and then multiple locations. Point number six, I think this one is so crucial. I use this all the time in my normal Bible reading plan or when I'm doing an intensive plan, like the 30 day plan, read in sets of three chapters. In other words, take a few 15 minute break, read three chapters, four chapters, whatever you can read in 15 minutes. Then later on in a couple hours, read another three chapters and then read another three chapters on your next break. And especially if you're working and you have these breaks, don't use your breaks to just look around on social and all this stuff. Use your breaks to read three chapters. That's all. Just push yourself three chapters. It's not too 
too much, it's not too little. But those three chapters every now and then throughout the day is going to add up and all of a sudden you're going to be finished with that day's reading before you know it. But again, make sure you have that first initial lengthier time in the morning because if you have that lengthier time in the morning, you don't have to have a second lengthier time. You can just do sets of three chapters throughout the rest of the day. Pace yourself. So every break you have, do just three chapters. You don't have to try and oh, burden yourself and read 10 chapters at a time. That's something you might do in the morning time and you can read multiple chapters, right? But then throughout the day, just pace yourself, read three, just three chapters. I, I Trust me, I do this. It works. It works. If you want to do this, it's not going to feel too burdensome or anything. Just reading those three chapters periodically throughout the day, you'll end up reading all those chapters for the day on this 30 day plan before you know it. Tip number seven, if you do not make it on a particular day, do not try and read double the next day. Just read less. You're going to be reading less the next day. And yes, it's not going to be, you're going to be now at 31 days instead of 30 days. Don't try and do double because you're not going to do it probably. Now, some people can do that. And, and I've done that. Yeah. Where I had to make up all this time, but that's really not what it's about. It's not about, Oh, I missed 30 days. Now I got to do double and triple. And then all of a sudden you don't do it at all. Just pretend like you did do it the previous day. And on that next day, you're not going to be having to read as many chapters because you're only reading about half as much or whatever you got to the previous day. So that is a great tip to hold on to because remember, it's not a legalistic thing where I have to read it in 30 days, but do your best, read it in those 30 days. If you take these tips to heart, trust me, you're going to be able to do it. Anybody can read the Bible in 30 days. Just do these tips, study this, watch this video again. Now, if you're liking this video, I got lots more content coming at you. Please like, subscribe. Hey, put a comment. If you've ever read the Bible in 30 days or maybe a little bit more than 30 days, let me know. Say I've read it or put something in the comments to let me know you've done it. If you're going to take up the challenge and read the Bible in 30 days, say, Anthony, I'm going to do it. Put a comment, drop a, drop a like as well, but put a comment and say, I'm going to do this. And that's going to be your accountability. And if you don't, guess what? Don't beat yourself up. You're at least trying to read the Bible in 30 days. That's amazing. Do it. You can do it though. Trust me. I've done it many times and you can do it too. I'm nobody different. I'm just somebody that can read and so can you hopefully. And if you can't read, do an audio Bible. Nowadays, you can listen to the audio Bible in all different types of languages, languages I've never heard of. You can listen to the Bible. Remember, it's not some legalism. Just get the word of God in you. If you're not a good reader, put the audio Bible in and read and listen to it for 30 days straight and finish that whole Bible. But if you can read, read it because it's so illuminating. It's so joyful. And there's some things that you're going to miss if you don't read it in a rapid amount of time because you're going to miss context. And the Bible is about context a lot of the times. And so when you're reading at a rapid rate, you're going to see things that you never have seen before. You're going to see connections in the text because this, this is beautifully crafted by God. Now, here's the other thing too. I'm not recommending just reading the Bible rapidly and that's it. I recommend do this Bible reading plan, but also have a study session separately. And as you're going through the Bible rapidly, note things that stand out as study points. And you can have a separate session. If you have enough time, you can have a separate session to study those things out. But the other thing is too, if you're just trying to do this again, this is not your regular routine. This is something you're going to challenge yourself in as you're reading through at a rapid rate, note everything that stands out to you, things you might not have seen before, or things that stand out that you can study after you're done doing this 30 day challenge. But trust me, this is going to be a blessing to you. Study your word, read your word, love your word. God bless you. Until next time. Peace out.